So let's say this is my character right here. So the idea is you want a fairly decent contrast. And if, if you take a hit like she is in the stomach, right? Okay, so we have, you know, a fairly big contrast here where she's, you know, she's moving quite a bit, kind of like this, which is cool. And predominantly the thing that's moved quite a bit is, you know, this midsection here. Um, the idea would be the same if I took a hit, let's say, in the face. You'd want to kind of do a, a fairly big movement with the upper body up here like this as your first kind of contrast. So wherever the force is hitting is what you want to push, have the most contrast in. So if I get hit in the stomach, push the stomach out, leave kind of the, the upper body and especially the feet kind of behind, delay them. Um, and that's kind of a very important thing to also sell. Like you can have a massive contrast in, uh, in your first hit frame or, or uh, on your hit react but always leave something behind like the arms or you know delay the head or the legs to kind of bridge that gap that spacing gap of you know because if you move quite a bit um, especially when you do one for the upper body like I'm showing here where if I got hit and my head jerks back the best thing to do is almost compensate with the the hands going out so because it's going to be your spacing will be a fairly jarring because it moves so much in one frame. The arms kind of being left behind, if in the case of my, my stick person here, um, you know, the arms being kind of left back here like this is gonna bridge these two poses and make it less jarring to the eye, but it's still gonna sell that that force, that, that you know, kind of a strong force that, that knocks you back. So, that's a, a key thing to keep in mind in your first pose of your, your hit react is have a bit, quite a bit of contrast, but always leave an appendage or something behind or tr try to try to lead in your, in your, in your line of action, try to lead kind of back to the original pose a little bit. So you can push some stuff really far, but always try to lead it back to bridge the two poses. Um, and you can see that they, you know they do it in this obviously her feet are still planted which it's you know it's a it's a small hit react so it's easier to do it in a small one um and it's very simple like hit reacts are very pretty much simple animations they're not necessarily about um beautiful poses and stuff like that it's really about selling force okay so the main thing on a hit react is is you know if a punch comes across like that you want to sell on your on your Sorry about hitting the mic there. You want to sell the force that knocks the the NPC or the player character. You want to sell that force affecting the player more so than getting beautiful poses. Um, and you still can get beautiful poses, obviously, but you want to really, really show um, in your posing the force that has knocked them away. Um, and then, you know, for a, a little one or for a, 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 a light hit react, it's pretty simple. Usually it's very quick. They're back to the fighting stance very quickly. And this again has game logic behind it because that's, that's feedback to the player that if I do a, a little hit, you know, I disrupt my enemy for a short amount of time, um, but they, they'll attack very quickly. You know, so it's the gamble. I can throw that punch very quickly. So it's a, it's a quick thing to do but it deals very little damage then as you as we talked about in combat as you step up um you know the the, the kind of like um i don't know the the damage in your in your attack so if i go to a medium it takes a little bit longer but you get you yield a hit react that and i'll bring it over here you know maybe almost time similar so she gets back to her her position fairly quickly but now she's you know she's knocked back a bit further so here she's going to two meters right 
So the medium attack has created maybe a little bit of distance. Okay. So this is where in this section, this is where you may have, depending on what the game design is, you may have the hit react knock back your opponent two meters, but your attack might only lead you, um, you know, a meter and a half or 1.25 meters. So now you've created a bit of distance and that distance could be to create some space so they can't attack you or they have to come back. So it, 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 it kind of pushes the character away a little bit, your enemy, or it could be to, to lead them up. So you have time to go into your third attack, which may take longer. So depending on what the game design is, um, you might actually, you know, the, the game design might have you move the same distance um, and maybe the, the medium hit react will take them a little bit longer or there'll be some type of cool down under the hood telling them that, oh, they've just been hit with a medium hit um, so they won't attack. So visually, you know, they get knocked back further or we might be, you know, still fairly close, but they might be on a timer now saying, oh, I just got hit with a medium and I, I won't attack for X amount of seconds.